Welcome back to those Whistly Pig Palace. <laughs> we don't got no transportation this time. So these are our Chevrolets. Our Lamborghinis. No, really, we've been hiking a lot of trails. Yeah, like this part of West Virginia was all about the trails. Yeah, so today we got some National Park stuff, some camper stuff. It's going to be a good one. Okay, that view that you just saw in the first part of the video is from the Diamond Point Overlook which is accessed by this trail here. This is the Endless Wall Trail. It was probably our favorite hike in New River Gorge. I think it's our favorite hike ever. Yeah. Wall to wall, you had views. You had river walks. You were going over bridges. All the fun little things you like to do on a hike, this hike had it. It was a great trail. It had a little bit of elevation gain, but it never felt too steep. It was a little muddy, but it was always shaded. Great and hike. We were by ourselves. It wasn't like in Colorado where it's like full of people. The visitor center, not as cool. Still took a video. They didn't have any cool sand things. They had some exhibits, but they weren't. Uh. My favorite part, though, is you could sit in a rocking chair and look at this freaking view. They also had a patio outside there, too. So if you wanted to go out and get that fresh gorge air, is that a thing? <laughs> that new river air? Let's put it in a bottle. Sell it. it smelled nice. <laughs> This is the crown jewel of the National Park, the New River Gorge Bridge. My sister says they call it the Rusty Rainbow. Anyway, it was, when it was built in 1974, the longest steel arch bridge in the world. And then in 2003, some bridge in China beat it out. Last video, we spent a lot of time talking about West Virginia's new marketing advertisement. Travel and tourism marketing ploy. Turns out we found another one. It's those wooden swings. There are nine of them in West Virginia. I didn't think we'd find another one. This wasn't really researched. It was kind of unexpected. But still, a beautiful backdrop. Instagram worthy. This is the spot where it happened. The spot where the town of Flatwoods saw the monster. And also where we got cheese nuggets. Literally, there was an alien sighting. And it was the 11th most interesting thing to happen in the year of 1952. I was just looking up things in the town of Flatwoods and I came across it and we're like, let's go. So Emily took a picture with the maid alien and uh, we had some dinner. They had parking there for the monster visitors, but also was at City Hall. So if you had to do your business, but the food was great. And also they had this ice cream sign that was in my high school, like 2001 to 2004. You could get that ice cream and it was not delicious. I originally came across this area because I was looking for a hike, but then we didn't realize there would be so much history. These structures were brought here from different parts of West Virginia, but as you climb up the hill, there are Civil War trenches. That was super cool. It was like when we saw the wagon ruts from the Oregon Trail, but yeah. different. I wouldn't have believed that they would still be there, but because we saw those wagon, wagon ruts. Anyway, there was a road that went through the area that was like key, but there weren't any major battles fought in West Virginia. But there was also this pretty waterfall. Yes. <laughs> Trickles down like glitter. On the State Park site for West Virginia, they have a flower. And I really thought it was the dogwoods until we went on hikes and all these rhododendrons started showing up. Look at Marmon and Emily. We spent our city day in Morgantown. This place had some really great inventive beers. They had a raspberry cheesecake with hints of cinnamon. They had a cherry cola beer. I don't think we had a beer on this flight we didn't like. We are currently drinking a beer from here right now. And they are still tasty. Most of the small town places we go to, we have to get like burgers and fries. So when we can get some cultured food, we love to. And what we liked here was that they gave you an appetizer with eight different foods that they serve. Something we didn't know before we started camper life was that we would always have to be connected to power. Um, we have become experts on the difference between AC and DC power. And what you're looking at here is our surge protector. So recently we had something happen um, and we want to share it with you. We have to be connected to power at all times in order to run the outlets in our camper as well as like our air conditioner and microwave. What you're looking at is our cable connected to the surge protector connected to the pedestal. The other night, Emily looked out her window and she's like, hey, the surge protector is red. And we looked out there and it was showing reverse polarity. And it was because the site we were at, the pedestal was messed up. So we had to move. If we hadn't, this is like the number one cause of camper fires. So this morning, I was literally taking the propane cover off of our camper 
And look, birds have built a nest. Mind you, we've been here one week. They built this nest in one week and also they laid eggs. Hold on, I'll zoom in. You can see those little eggs in there. Right there. I was just blown away. I didn't know what to do with it either. Like, what do we do? So I took it off and I stuck it on the campfire grill. <laughs> Look at all of our dog's hair that they put in their little nest. They used the materials that they had. <laughs> well, guys, we're sad to report, but this is our last video in West Virginia. We're going to be moving on to Pennsylvania next week. Hope it's half as pretty as West Virginia will be in for a treat.